today I was trying to take photos of my child with the um, Sony A7 R Mark III and 85 midware 1.2 uh, 85L and the Metabons 4 adapter and uh, what I will show you is my results and the results unfortunately are not that um, great so here you see my child running toward me and uh, at the beginning I'm shooting wide open of course at the beginning it appears that the um, it's somewhat focusing and uh, now he is behind a tree and after he left from behind a tree uh, you can see that uh, the camera lost focus and the focus is lost, 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 lost. And uh, eventually, as Shang is getting close to me, uh, the camera finds focus. And uh, it's basically... Uh, holding him in focus here and um, now he's uh, he's in focus here okay so uh, here is the lateral action uh, with the 85 uh, my friend's child here and uh, lateral action is easier uh, 85 one open again but uh, generally uh, when the object was uh, going laterally or was uh, around the same space the 85 uh, was focusing pretty decent, but uh, when I had the child run toward me, I did it a few times, uh, it would work, uh, and then it would stop working at some point and would no longer focus. Um, so that particular situation well, I was not happy with, uh, with the 85. Uh, I did have the same 85 with my former A9, and from what I remember, A9 focused better with the 85L uh, than this A7R3. The only thing I wanted to add is that um, when A9 came out, Metabonds needed one more firmware update before everything was working smoothly. Uh, initially, um, Metabonds did not work that great. Then they came up with an update. Uh, and then it was working fine. Uh, so perhaps the same thing happens with A7R3. Uh, Metabonds will come out with the update firmware and then uh, it'll work better. Now with respect to 85L, I'd like to compare and contrast it to the 24-105. The 24-105, uh, it was simply amazing. Uh, I... Uh, I couldn't I couldn't be happier uh, basically pretty much everything is in focus with native 24 to 105 uh, here I have a sequence when my child all of a sudden got up and start running toward me accelerating at pretty much at close distance uh, and you know that's not easy uh, but uh, here he is coming at me and as you can see, pretty much every shot in the sequence is in focus. And he's pretty close to me. You know it's not easy. Basically, he's coming at me and it was not anticipated. And uh, he keeps coming. And, you know, usually a lot of times as the object gets closer to you, the camera would lose focus. But here... Uh, you know, the focus is still on my child, even though he is getting pretty close to me here. And you can see he is still um, in focus here. Um, so that's pretty remarkable. So with native lenses, 
uh, the ones that I've tried and uh, specifically with 85 with the 24 to 105 G um, that's the lens that I've been using a lot on my new a7 r3 uh, the autofocus is remarkable uh, I would say it's as good as um, well I haven't tried a9 with 24 to 105 but uh, the the autofocus is I find it as good as a9. Uh, and I tried with mechanical and electronic shutter, and uh, it was good. So native lenses, uh, remarkable focus. Uh, Third-party lenses, uh, at this particular point, it's kind of lens by lens, but with the 85L Mark I, uh, it's not perfect tracking. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video, and subscribe to my channel.